Are you guys looking for good boots that are good for hiking, good for going to restaurants, good for backpacking in cities, backpacking on the trails, doing hikes, whatever it is, these are the boots for you. So about a year ago, I moved to Israel, started to do some traveling here. Before that, I was doing some backpacking for about three to four months or so, maybe a little bit longer. But anyway, during that time and up to just a few months ago, I had these boots. I really enjoyed them, really good boots. I got them um, real leather, they're steel toe, super durable. I enjoyed hiking in them and everything. The only thing was they were very heavy and they took up a lot of space when I was wearing my sandals. So I started to do some research and looking into durable, um, high quality, lightweight shoes and I found these guys. I found these boots. These boots are great. Um, so I found them online and I didn't actually get them until recently, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, I was looking for all the proper gear that I wanted to get for this next backpacking trip. Um, and I wanted to get something that would be, be super lightweight and these don't be super light. Um, something that is high quality, like leather or something. These uh, I polish every now and again, maybe once or twice a month, especially when they get wet, to keep them, uh, keep them healthy and keep their skin looking well, or the leather looking shiny. They're, they're waterproof, they're, they're thinner soles, so they're very light. Um, I'm actually gonna change out the laces for some black laces, but these are the Vivo Barefoot. Vivo Barefoot, uh, Vivo Barefoot boots. These things are great. Put the name and the brand here on the screen. And um, yeah, so anyway, these I would definitely highly recommend because I've gone hiking, you know, 10 to 15 miles in them. Um, what's cool is you can actually roll them up and they take up a lot less space when you, when you pack them. And so you can make them, you can make them smaller than that. Still, it's like, that's, that's a little, not too much space. Um, and you can put them in a bag or just wrap them up and whatnot. And then they, they bounce right back. Um, the, the bottoms are super durable, good for hiking, leathers, high quality. You get a little bit of creases when you're folding them, but it's really not that bad, especially if you're consistent with um, treating them with mink oil or some kind of polish. Uh, maybe once or twice a month. It keeps the leather strong and keeps it from cracking, keeps it durable. You can always take it to a shoe smith. Um, but yeah, these are phenomenal, phenomenal boots. I would definitely recommend them for, you know, for hiking, for all your adventures, for backpacking. Um, I would change the laces and make them black if you were planning to go to restaurants and bars and whatnot. Um, just because that design, I feel like is a little it's kind of a hiking design, um, makes them look more like hiking boots. And from the top, totally, but if you switched out that to a brown or black um, paracord lace, makes them more, um, I think it's a good crossover uh, between, you know, you're going out and your backpacking kind of wear. And then on the bottom, they're super grippy, phenomenal for, or walking on rocks, walking in the water. They are waterproof. Definitely after you spend a couple days with them on the back trails in water, that's when I would polish them, you know, wash them off, polish them because you want to keep that leather healthy. Um, and it's real leather, but it is, um, yeah, they're just, they're just good all around boots. I'll probably be wearing them for the next year or two. And then maybe in a year or two, I'll make another video showing you the wear and tear on them along with the, the, the sandals that I'm using from EXO sandals. I'll put a link for those in the description box. And in the description box will be a link of all the gear that I'm using currently and some other gear that I would recommend. Um, I don't think there's anything else. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, if you guys have any questions about these, just ask me in the comment box below. If you thought this video was helpful, um, give me a like, that would be cool. And then, if you guys want to see more videos on traveling gear, travel hacks, or uh, vlogs from traveling around Israel, um, Europe, and I haven't done... Yeah, a little bit of Asia. In Asia, um, you can follow the 
the playlist on the page. If you want to check those out, that'd be sweet. Uh, if you guys got any recommendations, just let me know. If you guys want to keep in touch or check out what's going on, um, you can you can add me on Facebook or you can connect my Instagram. Send me a message if you got any ideas or you want to you know you want to recommend going to this place or doing this adventure. Otherwise, you guys take care. Uh, never stop traveling. Peace.